you guys, I got something massive in the mail, and I would have dropped it on the table, except it would have shook. But look at this. It's partially ripped open. What's it gonna be? One stacker on a journey to find silver. What's up guys, International Stacker here, coming to you live. I am back in Illinois, and yes, ladies and gentlemen, inflation is running insane across the nation. I'm gonna work on a video of it, and I just got something super epic. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I knew this sucker was heavy. It's from Predator Casting. Let's see what they say. Ah yes, I've been following your channel for a while. My buddy Silver Scorpion brought it uh, to my attention. You don't stack copper. Well, not yet. yet. I guess I do now. Then I noticed you, or uh, then I noticed he is right. I've never seen it on your channel. Well, your well, you do now. Ha ha ha! Your friend Silver Predator. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> this thing is massive. And it's heavy. It launches its way. Like okay, I was like, there's no way that could be 90, 910 ounces. It looks like 91 ounces. This is a 91 ounce bar. That's funny, 910 ounces. Let me go weigh this. All right, this is 5 pounds and 11 ounces. Not troy ounces, ounces. And it looks like this is an OZS, so that's ounces. So 91 ounces. How many pennies is this? That is epic. Thank you so much, Silver Predator. And you know what? I've got one other package here in the mail that feels shockingly similar to that. So why don't we just get into that one? Oh. oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. This feels crazy. You guys, this this feels crazy. Alright, let's let's see what we got here. This is from Silver Scorpion. And you guys, my uh, P.O. box is in the description below. If you want to send me anything, send it and I'll open it on my channel. And usually I do them separate. Wow. Usually I do them separate, but since these seemed related, I'm like, well, let me make it the same video. Let's see. Just a little something. Dude, this is epic. International Stacker. Hope this uh, makes it to you okay. It did. I know you said you don't stack copper, but now you have a little stack. Silver Scorpion. P.S. I told you how I, I would uh, start your stack a couple months ago. I always do what I say. Have a good day. And thanks for all you do. Wow, this is epic. I mean, I just got the equivalent of nearly a 100 ounce bar. Now I got something else huge. What do you guys think this is? Oh. Man. It's freaking heavy. It is freaking heavy. You guys, if you pull my if you ever pull my PO box, always do it from my newest video. Because <clears throat> I do change PO boxes from time to time. My newest video will always have the updated one or my about page. <coughs> wow. Another huge bar. Let me see. Those are his hallmarks. Those are pretty cool. All right, so that appears to be a scorpion. It's point nine 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 fine, and I believe that's his. I believe that's his six pounds LB nine OZ. I think it's six pounds nine ounces. Let's wait. It. Yep, it's actually a little over six pounds nine point one ounces. Woo! So I've got, this is crazy. <laughs> wow. 
Well, boys, I guess I stack copper now. Let's talk about copper a little bit. So here we go, Silver Predator, Silver Scorpion. He's got a COA with his. Epic. And he also sent me this. One gram, 999 fine, visit our channel. Dude, that is so smart, Silver Scorpion. So he's got a card he gives the people and it's literally got a gram of silver in it. That is freaking awesome and genius. Wow. So big shout out to Silver Predator Casting. Big shout out to Silver Corp Scorpion. Scorpion. As a matter of fact, let's check them both out right now. Well, what's up, guys? International Stacker, and I am filming the second part of this video, and I'm not in Illinois anymore. I'm now in a hotel room in San Diego. I just did a live stream last night. I have more coming this whole weekend, this Thanksgiving weekend, so buckle up and have fun. And let's look at these two awesome YouTubers um, that sent me such epic presents and gifts. And again, thank you again, gentlemen. So here we got Silver Predator Casting. He's got 172 subs. Guys, let's get him up over to Hundo. Let's do it. Let's get him over to Hundo and let's check out his videos. And it, he's got all kinds of, and you see, I've watched some of them. And I, yes, I am subscribed. Let me turn that bell on. Um, but he's got all kinds of pouring. He does silver. He does copper. Um, all different types of things. Looks like he does a lot of different types of like metal recovery and refining and all kinds of super cool stuff so if you ever want to get into pouring or um, if you're currently a pour i think this could be a very cool channel for you to get into looks like he's been around for five months so let's crustacean nations get those crabs up let's help out silver predator and let's check out silver scorpion uh and again i am subbed let me turn on the bell with him and let's go to videos and he's got 1.36 so if we could get him to uh Maybe 1.5? I don't know. Can we do it, guys? But check out his videos. And he's been around for quite some time. Um, I know Silver Scorpion for a while. He's been a long time uh, viewer. I remember seeing him forever. And it looks like he's also been a YouTuber for quite some time, well over a year. And for those people that get discouraged YouTubing, you just got to keep pressing and eventually you will start getting a following your videos will start to blow up it took me a year and over a hundred videos to get I think over my first hundred subscribers so he's been around for over a year this is probably a year and a half and you know it doesn't break it down like that um, so he's been around for a decent time and it looks like he's got unboxing discussion videos um, but he's also got pouring videos um looks like he does some goss action which is giveaway Ooh, that's mega um all different kinds of things so check him out as well um and obviously he is a poor look at that look at that furnace you guys as soon as i settle down a little bit i'm really planning to get into pouring gold and silver um but i just gotta like get a little bit stable and look it looks like he's doing sand casting here with sand and correct me if I'm wrong, Scorpion, but I believe with sand casting, once you use that cast that one time, you have to it's done, right? So you have to make the whole cast again if you want to pour multiples or if you want to pour another. Look, Gaw, real quick update. See, so he gives stuff away, folks. And it looks like he is an artist. So let's go ahead and, if you don't mind, crustaceans. Let's get him up to 1.5. And, I mean, if we can get him over 2, Hundo, I mean... It would be epic. Five hundred would be epic, but two. I'm not gonna ask for two. I'm not gonna ask for too much. Um, but they look like two awesome YouTubers with super cool content. Now, let's talk a little bit about that copper. And you see, I'm actually editing this video as we speak. This is what it looks like when I edit. And uh, you know, there's different images and source files in here I can pull. But look at these copper bars. Now, um, a lot of people have been picking out copper pennies for the longest time ever since i've been on youtube's watch in youtube the youtubes watching uh, any content about metal and why is that well coppers continue to increase in, in price so um i think it's pre-82 correct me if i'm wrong but i think any penny pre-82 is made of copper except for some steel pennies uh during world war ii um 
but now they're made of zinc and the reason is is copper in a cent is worth more than a cent so a lot of people have been saving the copper pennies because when they become out of circulation the thought is they can melt them down and they'll be worth at least double if not more um, of what you actually got them for so it's a quick way to double your money per se so and you, i don't think pennies are going to be around forever i think the government and different governments want digital currency so they can get max tax, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, I just saw an art article that the Dollar Tree is going to now be the dollar twenty-five <laughs> tree, right? So with inflation, um, so that might be a solid plan, a quick way to double money. I don't know, but the one thing I can tell you is I expect copper to continue to go up in price. It now it is not a precious metal; it is not a semi-precious metal. Um, it is plentiful, but you have to mine it. Um, it costs. To do that and the more we build the more we grow as a society the more cities or infrastructure or whatever is built you're going to need copper um, because it's a good conductor of electricity and it's not as expensive as silver and you you all remember silver is the best conductor of electricity so what am i trying to say am i going to stack thousands of ounces of copper no um, because i've done that with silver and i've got so much weight i might start doing more gold i don't know we'll see I can't get away from silver. I love it so much. Um, but what I will say is I think there is an opportunity in the copper space, just like other spaces uh, with the current administration, whether you like them or not, this is apolitical, simply, st simply stating the facts, simply stapling the facts. What was it? Uh, <clears throat> but, um, you know, with uh, the infrastructure plans and building things and money's being spent for different projects, Green New Deal type stuff, blah, blah, blah. You're going to need silver. You're going to need copper. Um, so it's not a bad thing. Uh, <clears throat> so a big thank you to Silver Predator Casting and Silver Scorpion for giving me these epic mega bars. I mean, they're epic, guys. They're epic. And this one almost broke out. Thank God it didn't escape. Um, from the box, but yeah, tell me in the comments what you think below. Are you stacking copper? I wasn't before. Now I've got a massive stack. Are you thinking of stacking copper? Are you sticking only to silver and gold? Are you getting into palladium and platinum? Like, what are you all doing? And like the one thing that concerns me with palladium and platinum, um, and I've talked about this before, is that the predominant use for those um, heavily which is a lot of demand is in catalytic converters. But what happens eventually when most vehicles go to EVs? Is platinum and palladium used in EVs? Let me know. School me in the comments below. I'm super deep into gold and silver, but I haven't really branched out much. I've been so laser focused on those two metals. Um, so I'd be interested in seeing uh, what your all's opinion is on that. And as we exit out this video and you're putting your comments below on what you think, let's go ahead and watch some of this metal pour. I wonder if this is my bar. It's his very first forge pour. Let's see what this looks like. Dang, just whipping out the bars. Reminds me of like medieval days almost. Let's see what they look like. Man, he's whipping them out. How many... What does that hold? Like, <clears throat> 10 kilos in that thing? How do you... <laughs> that's got to be super heavy. That's crazy. That's crazy and super cool. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Again, turn on the notification bell. Subscribe. I'm going to be streaming from San Diego this whole weekend. I'm at the special edition Comic Con... And for those of you who remember, I use Comic Con to uh, make money or currency off collectibles. I flip it and I use it to buy more gold and silver. And it never fails that I end up giving some of that back to you. So, um, yeah, leave a comment below, like, subscribe, and I guess I'll say, catch you on the next one. Woo! I guess I'll do a thumbs up because I can't do my thumbs up I normally do. Later, guys. One stacker.